Hello and welcome. If you like today's tutorial, please like and subscribe. It really does help. Over the past week, I have been extremely ill and most of the content that you've seen was actually recorded before I got ill. Uh, there's just a few bits where I, I pushed through and I just added some bits to the video, etc. But I am now getting back to normal and I'm getting back to problem solving. And one problem that seems to be recurring over and over again in the comments section and through my uh, Facebook messages is IK retargeting of the IK bones um, are from UE4 to UE5. So that is what I'm going to tackle today. We're going to sort that problem out. And it is really, really, really simple. I, I went through lots trying to get this uh, problem solved. I mean, like two hours today. And then I realized how silly I was being. And it is very simple. So let's crack on with the tutorial. Okay, so we start today's tutorial with a blank third person template. And of course, this gives us, as you've seen in my other tutorials, a fast way to retarget our animations. Today's problem is, if we go to my uh, example animations, let's say I take this attack animation and I select our IK foot root. As you can see, the IK foot root is moving perfectly. There is nothing wrong. And same with the IK hand root, perfect. And of course, lots of you are having problems when you're retargeting. Let me do that now. So let's go to our IK retargeter in characters, mannequin UE4 rigs. So, and here is our UE4 to UE5 retargeter. Let's open it up. And it's already got all our chains and everything here, which is just fantastic. And then if we go to our asset browser and we click on our attack animation, it retargets fine. So let's export and we'll go to experiments. I have a folder called experiments to export them to. And here it is. And then if I click on our IK foot root, it stays still. Same with our IK hand root. Okay. And as I said, I struggled with this. I looked at uh, maybe transferring it through blueprints. Um, but then I clicked on root and root is still as well. So all we have to do is simply come back to our retargeter go to our root chain and ensure that the translation mode is globally scaled exactly same as fixing the root motion and so if we now go back to our animation we'll use the exact same animation again and I export that animation and here it is retargeted number three and then I click on the IK foot root it is now moving. Same with the IK hand root and all the rest of the IK bones. And that is it. It is that simple. If you're having any further problems with the IK retargeting of IK bones, please comment below. And if I can, I will help you. Uh, but for today, I think that is it. Just short, sweet and simple. Right, so that brings this tutorial to an end. It was very, very short and a very simple answer. If you're experiencing any further problems with the retargeting of IK bones, then please don't hesitate to comment below and if I can solve it, I will. Moving forward now, as my brain starts to re-engage, as I'm getting better, I will try and get down my list of tutorials that you've been asking for and hopefully bring you those in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps.